In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the gaming services in Windows. So I'll be doing this in Windows 11, however the methods will also work in Windows 10. So if you're trying to play a Microsoft Store game or an Xbox app game on your Windows computer and then you're getting a message saying that the gaming services is missing or it's giving you some sort of error message, then this is how you can fix that issue. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. So we now need to press Git Install App and you then need to select Open Microsoft Store. This is going to bring up a window that looks like this. So you now need to press Git if you do have the option. If you do not have this option, then that means the gaming services is not missing on your computer, but you're obviously getting some sort of other error message. So for those that are missing the gaming services, press Git and it will then begin to install the gaming services. And once that's finished installing, you can then press more details just to ensure that it's definitely installed. And I can see that it's now installed. So launch the game and see if that resolved the issue of it saying that the gaming services is missing. So the next thing that you need to do now is go onto the Microsoft Store and you then need to select Library. And you now need to press Git Updates. And we're just checking to see if there are any new updates available for the gaming services. If it does detect any new updates, it will then begin to update and install them. So allow this to run for all the apps in the Microsoft Store. Once everything's finished updating, you now need to close down the Microsoft Store, right click on the Start menu icon and go to Settings. We then need to select Windows Update. In Windows 10, it will be Update and Security. And you're now going to install any new updates. As you can see, I have an Install Now button available, which I can click. If you don't have this option, but it says check for updates, press that button and just ensure Windows is up to date. I'm not actually going to do these updates because I don't want to affect this video. Once you have finished updating Windows, now go ahead and launch the game that you're currently having issues with to see if that has fixed the issue. If it hasn't, then we now need to right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go to task manager. Next, you need to select Services, and you then need to click anywhere in the list and press G. You should now see Gaming Services. So as you can see, mine are currently running, which is good. If yours are not running, then you need to right click and just press Start. So if the two services weren't running on your computer, then this means that there's a bit of an issue and we need to now try and resolve that. So we now need to right click on the Start menu icon and you then need to go to Apps and Features. Next, you need to click in Search Apps, and we then need to type in Gaming. You then need to select the three dots next to Gaming Services and go Advanced Options. Next, we need to scroll down, and we then need to go Terminate. Next, you need to press Repair under Reset. Once that's finished repairing, go ahead and launch the game that you are having issues with again and see if that resolved the problem. If it didn't, then we now need to press reset and you then need to go reset. And again, once that's finished, you can now go ahead and launch the game and with a bit of luck, that would have fixed the problem. If that didn't also help, then scroll back up and you then need to change this option here and we want to go always. Once you've changed that, now launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is close all of this down and you then need to open up the start menu and you now need to type in PowerShell. You then need to run PowerShell as an administrator by clicking on run as administrator or you can right click on it and go run as administrator. Next, you need to type in the following code. You can see it on my screen at the moment. I will keep this pause for a second. If you don't want to type in this code, then you can visit our website. The link's in the description below where you can grab it. So once you're happy, Go ahead and press enter and this is going to remove the gaming services from your Windows computer. So once that's finished, you then need to right click on the start menu icon and we then want to go to apps and features and then type in gaming in search apps and just ensure the gaming services are definitely removed. As you can see, they are on my computer now. So restart your computer and you then need to do what we did at the start of this video by clicking on the first link in the description below 
and install the gaming services again to Windows. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped fix the gaming services on your computer. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.